Edward Fortune is running for Congress, and his tribute to marijuana legalization is one of the more interesting campaign tools we've ever seen. I'm on the ballot now. They say... They say every superhero needs a super vehicle, and now there's a weed mobile rolling along the streets of New Jersey. New Jersey's weed man, Edward Fortune, is running for Congress, and his tribute to marijuana legalization is one of the more interesting campaign tools we've ever seen. Uh, we chased down Weed Man as he got signatures for his run for Congress. We checked out his custom van, saw how people were responding to his message as they looked at the custom van. In 1998, when I first publicly came out in support of legalization, I was considered a zero. And here we are in 2014, and I am now more considered a hero. Even though the custom painted van, chrome rims, marijuana leaves, is a bit of a novelty, as is his run for Congress, he says that his message is legitimate. I'm not that high, or I believe I'm going to win, but I think, you know, just just bringing attention to the cause, forcing the Democrats and Republicans to have to talk about this issue, I accomplished exactly what I want to do. We were there with him and the Weed Mobile as he submitted signatures to run as an independent for Congress, the seat that John Runyon is vacating. I'm on the ballot now, bitches. Although few really expect him to win, the Weed Man believes that his participation in the national election and the attention of campaigning going all over the state in the Weed Mobile could bring some legitimacy to his message of the legalization uh, of marijuana. We'll see if Weed Man's run can gain support for his message, but in the meantime, be on the lookout for the Weed Mobile. He'll be out campaigning over the next several months. It'll be rolling and smoking in a neighborhood near you. Puff, puff, pass. I gotta ask, where does he get the money for this? Is he independently wealthy? Is, does he actually have someone who wrote a check to his campaign? You know what's interesting? And he's had the weed mobile. Actually, it was out of commission, so it had to get mixed up. Got and he it. brought it back from California. But he talks about himself as going from zero to hero. People really do respond to him that way. When he's out getting signatures, they want to stop and meet him. Did he drive it back from California, like in some Cheech and Chong adventure with the smoke coming out of the sides? Uh, it's possible. He has, in a very serious note, he had surgery on his leg for removal of tumors for bone cancer. So he's in an entire leg cast right now. You know, we all laugh about Weed Man, and he knows that I disagree with him on a lot of things. But having gotten to know him since he's come on the show so much, I have to say, he is a great guy. I see him being someone that people would want to follow, and I just see him as a leader, so I wish him luck. So Elec, the Election Law Enforcement Commission, sent him a couple legal fines. Wow. He used those papers to roll up a couple joints, and he smoked them and said he had no intention of paying his fines. Well, you can't help but feel for a guy who's battling bone cancer. Uh, having said that, he goes the next step, and I think if he stuck with medical marijuana and could demonstrate his own personal need for it, that's a message that might really resonate, uh, but he takes the next leap about people just getting high, and I think that's where he loses 